Hey, 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 family, it's Evelyn, and I am back with another video. And today, as promised, I am going to be playing in the Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm Powder Flushed. <laughs> I keep wanting to say blush because that's what it is, but I have all six shades. I think I swatched these for you in a haul and I'm sure by the time this video goes out, you've already seen the videos, uh, the swatches and the reviews and all that. I, I'm just gonna tell you now, I love these. And so I figure I would try on a couple of the shades today. I mean, I only have two cheeks, but um, I wanted to show you that the lighter shades, even the lighter shades show up on deeper skin. So, um, and then I also wanted to compare those six to her dewy cheek and lip palettes okay and these are the only cheek products that i have from danessa myricks and i showed you in the haul video that i do use the blurring balm powder as a primer because i have the translucent it looks a little gross because i have hit pan um and i love it i actually have it on under my foundation today. So with that being said, oh, I should have wore a different shirt. I'll just swatch them on my hand because this dress uh, does not allow for a lot of arm swatches. So let's get into it. So I, I kind of want to start, if you didn't see my haul video because that video was very, very long, I definitely want to swatch all the shades. Now, I will tell you, I feel like she did three shades probably targeted to lighter skin tones okay so rose and brunch jubilee and bellini and then three shades that appear to be targeted towards deeper skin tones which we have here golden hour prima donna and dance queen and can i just tell you that i appreciate her having the names on the outside <laughs> of the um, box. I will say this, all of them so far have worked on me. So what I'm gonna do is I know, I know you've seen these three shades on deeper skin tone. So I'm gonna play with these three and then I may come back and top it with these cause you'll be able to see it. Um, I do have everything on. So I have primer, foundation, concealer, powder, bronzer, brows, eyeshadow, lip gloss. Everything is on. Y'all, I'm gonna tell you, First of all, on my eyes, can we get into this eye look? I'm still loving the Danessa Myricks My Dream Palette. That's what this whole eye look is. Let me just, I don't know if you can really get into that. But that is this palette. And on my face, I am wearing... A mixture. I have the I have on my Tom Ford Soft Matte Primer. Then I came back over with my Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm Powder. So Tom Ford Soft Matte Primer, Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm Powder, and then I'm wearing a mixture of my Dior Forever Skin 24 Hour High Perfection Skin Caring Foundation with Sunscreen in the shade 8N, which surprisingly is a little too red and a little too deep. So I mixed it with this Sephora Matte Perfection Tinted Moisturizer, which is a little too light and a little too gray, and it works out. So that's what I'm wearing on my skin today. I'm wearing my Pat McGrath Concealer and a little bit of the LYS Concealer set with Laura Mercier. But y'all, I have been using the Make Beauty um, Translucent, Translucent Setting Powder hello and it is giving i know i know we're gonna get to the blushes but y'all look first of all this packaging because i don't even know if i'm going to do a dedicated video to this or not and this is the powder this is the translucent setting powder tell me that's not my skin tone in a powder okay and then i also am wearing the bronzer now the bronzer is softer than my LYS, but I actually kind of like it because sometimes I feel like my LYS bronzer can come across a little strong. So this is the Skin Medic Micro Suede Bronzer. Look at look at this packaging. 
can we get into it's gorgeous packaging and i have one of their blushes i'm gonna have to get some more this is the bronzer so you see i'm saying like it's definitely deeper than my skin tone but not like super deeper than my skin tone okay now that we've got all of that out of the way, I will have everything else like mascara, primer, all the kind of stuff that I'm wearing listed down in the description box. Let's get into these. I am going to swatch them on my hand. I'm going to do some comparisons with the Dewy Lip and Cheek Palettes, and then I'm going to put it on the face. So that way, if you haven't seen my haul video that's like 45 minutes long, you don't have to go all the way through that. So okay so let's get into these swatches i am going to first start with rose and brunch and this is kind of like a neutral soft pink shade i tried this on in my haul video so that's what it looks like on my finger very soft and i'm just going to swatch these on the back of my hand now you may look at that and go, Evelyn, there's no way. It looks like there's white in there and it's gonna be looking pasty on the skin. I'm telling you, it works. I don't know what she did and how she did it, but that is Rose and Brunch. Then I'm going to swatch Jubilee. Jubilee, I probably should have pulled shade descriptions from the internet, from her website, but this looks like a muted kind of terracotta color, which y'all know I love. So I'm gonna put this right next to, that's kind of what that looks like. Kind of like a soft muted orange terracotta kind of earthy shade. I'm gonna put that right next to Rose and Brunch so you can see that. Do you see how one is more pinky and one is more corally orange and again you're probably like that looks like you got white in it evelyn and on deeper skin tone what what are we talking about here let's next let's do bellini now i feel like the camera is not doing these justice because this is like in my face this looks like a neon coral like a neon orange leaning coral so and I think it's just so interesting. That's kind of what that's looking like. Let me get a little bit more. That's kind of what that's looking like right there. And I'm gonna put that right next to Jubilee. Giving coral, giving coral. And I have tried all of these on and, and they work. Now I will say this, I like a softer blush though, so you know, when it comes to these three colors, if you don't like a softer blush, these may not work for you. So next, let's swatch Golden Hour, which I think a lot of people were excited about this color. So this gives me like a deep reddish coral, like significantly deeper. I think this might be the only shade that I have not tried. I've swatched it. It, it looks almost or like it looks almost straight up orange. I'm gonna put that right on there. It's giving red orange. Yeah, you see that? It's giving red orange with a small, a smidgen of pink, okay? And that's probably one of the more popular shades that has been circulating around. Next, I'm going to swatch Prima Donna, which this is like fuchsia pink, okay? Like this is the pinkity pink, 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 all right? and let me get a good swatch of that that's what that looks like i forgot to show you golden hour but that's what that i mean it's very pink oh i'm running out of space on the hand okay super pink almost like bu a deep bubblegum pink and then last but not least which i think is a lot of people's favorite which is dancing queen okay and this is what Dancing Queen looks like. It looks like a plummy, wine berry, kind of purpley shade. These look deeper in person, at least in, in my, um, on my monitor. Like I'm filming with my camera, but I have my monitor right here. And on the monitor, these look a lot lighter. I don't know if it's the lights, but I'm like, this is, this is dark in person. Okay. So let's do a swatch of that. That's what that looks like. That's so pretty. Oh, that, that, that goes. Let me see if I can get it on my hand well i'll just do it down the side here that's what that looks like so those are the swatches and i know you're looking at them first three like girl i don't know 
Okay, but I, listen, I wouldn't lie to you. I, I, there, I have learned that as a deeper skinned woman, there are certain brands, certain shades of lighter blush that just work on my skin tone. I don't know what it is. So I am going to, I'm going to do rose and brunch. I'll do that on this cheek. This is one of those lighter colors. This is that, this is that first color that you're probably like, girl, please. So I, I actually don't, I'm not a big fingers person, but that's the recommended way. You can come back behind it with a, with a, a brush and it's rec recommended that you tap, not swirl. Okay. So I'm going to, and I do like things right on the apple of my cheeks. So I know that's looking crazy, but as you start to blend it, something happens and it just gets really like, do you see that? It just gets really, really pretty. It's like that white disappears. I don't know if y'all can see that on camera, but in person, it is gorgeous. But y'all, I like a soft blush. I'm going to add, a, I'm going to build it up a little bit so that you can see it. But do you see this? Oh. I'm going to add a little bit more on my cheek. And I like to kind of go up a little bit, but... And the thing is, I have big pores, right? Like, like right in this area. So having this not just in a um, primer or a foundation, because you could get it in a foundation, but then also coming on top of it as a blush, like as it sets, it's so pretty in person. I don't know if y'all can see that. Oh, it's so pretty. Like I'm looking into my mirror that's right here. So no blush. This is Rose and Brunch. This is just like an everyday, like super soft pink color. And as it sets, y'all, it just, it goes matte and then like it just smooths out. Now, I personally prefer a brush. So I am going to tap over it. And I'm just going to make sure there's not a whole lot of color on this brush with the brush that I used the last time I used it. Oh, I feel like, I feel like the camera's not doing it justice, but that's cute. I think I'm going to try Jubilee on this side. Jubilee is, I believe it's this shade. I think that's the shade. Anyway, Jubilee is this one. This is uh, the light color. And I am just going to go in with my other ring finger, pick up some product. I know it looks light and crazy. And then I'm just going to tapity tap, tap, tap. Probably should have did this with my right hand because I am not left-handed. And so there might be a little bit of a, <laughs> a struggle situation. Oh, it's so pretty. This one is even more neutral. Can you see that? Y'all gonna act like y'all can't see it. It's so pretty. Right in here. I might have to come back with the brush on this one because I'm struggling with my left hand. Yeah, I'm struggling with my left hand, so I'm going to brush it up here. And I'm just tappity tap, tap, tapping. I think I have something left on my finger. Oh, I like that. This one... So you can see the pink is set in. This one is giving even more neutral. Did I get something under my eye? Child. So when she says that you can wear these at any skin tone, she means it. It just depends on what like level of intensity you like your blush. I like... I love this, right? I love this. I'm going to kind of let this sit in. I'm going to swatch the dewy um, lip and cheek um, palette on, on this side. And then we'll come back and we'll play with probably Dancing Queen. Because that's the only one I have not. I think Prima Donna and Dancing Queen is the one that I have not worn. So 
I will say this. My first introduction to Danessa Myricks were through her dewy lip and cheek palette. And I don't know why I bought these. I even at, immediately after I bought them, I regretted them. Not because they're bad palettes or they're bad quality. Here is the other one. So here they are together. Okay. I don't like a dewy cheek. And so, and I don't like lip palettes. So I was just like, why, 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 <laughs> why did you purchase these? And you don't like dewy cheeks and you don't like lip palettes girl so here we are but i'm going to swatch these for you you can see i've tried to use them you know people were like oh you can blend them in the end with the blurring balm powder and kind of make a matte blush i i much prefer the fact that she made the blurring balm blushes for me so i'm just i'm just going to swatch all these shades and here's the thing there are i mean Yes, you could use them on the lips. They're a little tight um, in the pan, obviously, because they're also, I think they're mainly meant for cheeks. Oh, I just dug my finger. You see, I dug my finger. Okay, but these are the four from this palette. And I'm just going to swatch these on my hand. I can't believe I just got that hole. So those are the four, you can't even hardly see one of these. Those are the four swatches. Like that light one, the, the last two, I'm not putting them on the lips or the cheeks, right? And, I mean, they're super emollient, super dewy, just not my cup of tea, but if you have dry, and you have to think, y'all, I have oily skin, um, which I am grateful for because oily skin keep you, keep you looking young. But I have oily skin. I live in Texas uh, and I have large pores. I, you know, a dewy product is just not, I'm not like, yes, make me look even more oil slick. Like it's just, <laughs> it's never been my thing, right? So I don't know why I purchased those and I don't like lip products because I don't like having to get a brush and I just, I don't know why. But there they are. But if you prefer that over a matte finish, you may like these, right? And then here's the next palette. And you can kind of see how, you know, she's giving you semi-similar vibes. So I'm just going to swatch again. I'm just going to swatch in the pan. I need to just go ahead and declutter these because they're just sitting in my makeup storage taking up space because I don't use them at all. I do, I, I, when I say at all, okay, so those are the four colors. Kind of remind me of the lighter shades. Um, so I'll just put these. So those are the lighter, like I'm just, there's like one color, which is the deeper one that I could probably use, right? So beautiful product if if that's what you like if it's not what you like okay but i just want kind of wanted to show you the comparison like i can wear all of these and i'm probably not gonna wear any of these so that's with the dewy lip and cheek product so okay this is rose and brunch this is you in person Y'all, so I think I'm going to do Dancing Queen on both sides. Now, you can also use these on these lips. I have on a gloss right now, but you can also use these on these lips. I'm actually going to go straight in with my brush. Yes, my brush, is, it's got um, powder on it and a little bit of residual left over from, ooh, that's bright, <laughs> from dipping in, uh, from blending the brushes. So I, as you can see, the color is there. I'm going to go over these colors since they're so soft. Oh, oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you don't hardly need, you don't need that much product. Do you see the difference? Like this is super bright. Don't get me wrong. I love, <laughs> I love blush. I love it. But I, you know, like, Girl, you can see my blush coming from down the street. 
So you can use a lot less clearly than what I used. What I love about this, since this is the Blurring Balm Powder, if I felt like it was too much, I could come back with my foundation and tone it down if I wanted to. That is so, please. Please, that is so. Matter of fact, let me, I'm going to take off my lip gloss here. Or take most of it off because I still want my lips to feel moisturized. I'm going to, I have not tried these on the lips. I'm going to go back into Dancing Queen, which is what I just put on the cheek, just to kind of tie it together and see. It's almost giving... Oh, like a soft matte lip stain. That's pretty. You could put you could put a liner on if you didn't want it to be so diffused. You could put a gloss on top of that. Y'all. Oh. I mean, obviously you can make it more like saturated. Oh. Tell me, tell me it's not giving. So listen, y'all, I wanted to share with you those products. I have been playing with the, them for several days now. I think, but I think I have a couple more videos that need to come out before this video. So by the time you see this video, you may have already received yours. You may have already made your decisions. Or if you were on the fence about certain colors, like I said, um, cause those last couple of shades are, are like, they're giving blush, right? Like they're giving, like I'm tempted to take my big fluffy brush and my LYS translucent powder, which I don't use very often, and just kind of go over that a little bit. It's a little intense for me. Tone it down a little bit. What I also like is having something matte and then being able to go over with powder. That's better. I Like I said, I love a softer blush application so let me know do you have you picked up any of these were you thinking about them were they even on your radar what do you think i will oh you know what i will say now that i've kind of diffused it out mm, y'all oh Okay, now that I've diffused it out, okay, so we know on the, on the, on the deeper colors, light touch. That, and see, this is what I mean. Even with deep, rich skin, like, I just needed a little, and it's the finish for me. It's kind of giving this kind of, like, buffed, diffused. Should we add a little bit of golden hour? I think we should. Should we mm, just, I'm just going to just a little bit, because we know it don't take much, okay? So we're just going to write, oh yeah, you can see it, all oh, that's giving dimension. Y'all, if it's one thing I love to do is cocktail of blush, powder blushes. Now these, I love to cocktail a color together. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> you can't tell. And then, like I said, I just want to just, this is not the brush I had. This is the brush. Just diffuse it a little bit. Please. I mean, it's it. she's blushed, but... 
please. All right, y'all, listen, let me know if you have any colors down below. If you were thinking about these, if you got these, what do you think? What is your favorite color? I'll definitely have to come back in another video when I'm doing like a get ready with me and um, put some other colors on my face. But I hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one, family. Peace.